Hello, my name is Matt Waterfield. I'm a lighting designer. Um, I've been working as a touring lighting designer for the last 12 or so years. Um, I started my career working in nightclubs and venues and then progressing to touring. Um, and I'd like to share a few tips and tricks that I think have helped me during my career and I hope, you know, they'll help you too. Um, Tip one, you've probably heard it a million times, but having the right attitude, being positive, being approachable, considerate to others, polite, goes a hell of a long way. And I can't stress that enough. Um, you will be given opportunities if you if you have the right attitude and are showing a willingness to learn and and you know having a, you know having a yeah being positive so 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 important whether you're working in a nightclub or you're touring the world it's essential that you have that in your skill set and yeah can't stress it enough so be positive have a willingness to learn never stop learning and yeah a sense of humor will go a long 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 way and undoubtedly you will be given opportunities opportunities because of it so yeah can't stress that enough um, and let's talk a little bit about you know lighting itself so if you're working in a venue or a club you know you'll be receiving different artists each day and those artists will undoubtedly be artists from different musical genres so i mean one rule i have which i've used pretty much all my career and i still use today is you make the loud bits louder and the quiet bits quieter essentially you complement the music um, you know, and super important, you know, you can't give the same light show for a folk band or as you can for an electronic band. Each each genre requires different approaches. Um, and yeah, you know, if you're working for a folk band, it might just be a case of using colours and, and subtle, you know, fades and cutting in intensities to kind of set the scene rather than it just being like a all moving flashing kind of dance party so and again that does apply for electronic artists as well you know flashing lights is super fun but if you're doing it all the time it just loses its impact you know it's very important to be able to hold back and wait for those moments you know so if you are you know like i say working in a venue you're gonna have a list of venue uh, bands that are are going to be playing that week or in the next few weeks do your research you know find out what those bands are like see if there's any previous shows to get an idea of what what kind of thing they are or what kind of you know style they have and when they enter the venue don't be afraid to approach them and ask them you know if they have any preferences for their light show some artists have no interest in in light shows but you know some do but it's the most important thing is you ask that question because it shows again that you're you've got a willingness and you know that you know, you want to make it the best you can that day so yes very important approach people and yeah find out a little bit about you know what what, what they may or not require um moving on um let's say never stop learning i um, probably said this before but you know tech moves very fast in in this industry and it, sometimes it's too fast and it's yeah it's quite impossible to keep up with it all the time but you know there's lots of resources online you know obviously there's lots of places you can find out information um and obviously you know look up look up your local lighting company you know lighting companies probably you know they're very welcoming you know even if they do seem like scary unknown places you know the industry's growing and they're looking for staff all the time so if you you know if you call these people up and show a willingness you know they'll more than likely invite you down to the warehouse and you can find, see their kit and find out what it's all about you know and yeah again having that that attitude to to you know confidence to go and meet those people will definitely help um and to round things up yeah enjoy um never stop learning and uh i hope maybe this is been uh, insightful in some sort of ways um good luck and uh yeah the best with your future